Morning. Good bit lighter this morning, and uh, it's bright in my eyes, but I'm a little bit later. It's about quarter to five, but um, beautiful morning. No wind, so for once this audio will be working fine. I'm going to put the thermal camera into trees when I get down here. Uh, because as you know from the previous little bit of film that I put up it looked like there was someone in the trees and uh, although you can't see much apart from me and this fella I'll update you on that later Walking down here, it's got a much calmer feel to it this morning and uh, can't hear the sea so everything's pretty still down there. You can hear the birds, listen to that. And for people that say you must be mad getting up at that time in the morning, this is why. Okay, we'll pick this up shortly. We'll get onto the beach. And if tide's not favourable, we'll go head into the woods. Sunrise is approaching by the looks of things. We might have a little, just a little bit of a wander along this shoreline, but I don't want to get too close to the cliffs with these rock falls that we've had. But everything, it's a beautiful morning. Everything's just really calm. Really nice. Right. Whoa, Bob, what do you reckon to that? Come on, Bob, I don't think we need to go any further. Bobby, this way. Come on. Come on. Let's get into them woods. He's not as frightened now of the sea. He realises it just makes a loud noise and providing he's not in it, it's not going to hurt him. I found a stone earlier. No great mystery to this stone, but I actually thought it was an old cushion that had come off someone's sofa and just been floating around in the sea. I'll come across it shortly, surely. And uh, it's not, it's a stone. And let's just have a quick look at this, just to prove what it is. Look at that. Look how the sea has shaped it. And it's a stone. Interesting. What do you reckon, Bob? We're having a look at that, aren't we, mate? And, uh... That's probably going to be the most fascinating thing we're going to see today. Might have as, as a little pedestal for it. Dog, here, get on this. Here, stand on this. Today, look at that. Just looks like a toy figure. Still stood on it. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be carrying it home for dog to stand on anytime soon, do you? So we'll pick this up shortly. Come here. Wish I could go up steps as fast as this little dog. Come here, Bob. Here. That's good. Up into the woods we go, Bobby. And we're going to parallel the golf course. Not going to get to far in front I weren't going to put the camera back on not just yet but listen to this bird
there again. Brilliant. And uh, we'll just overlook the edge of the golf course now. Let's just walk along the edge of this. You heard me tell the short about the what I called the Lynx Monster going back to early 2000s. Well, the man who saw it was on the driving range on this golf course. Loads of sludge here. Because I want to share the the sunrise, or at least a little bit of it, with you guys. So, uh, if I'd have gone up the other side of the dike, we'd have been able to see it. But a little bit uh, late for that, for me to get up there now and show you all, let you appreciate this amazing red sky. So, we'll just keep looking. The golf course. I wonder how many people who've come to the golf course over the years had one of these unusual experiences, be it sounds that just aren't normal coming from the peripheral, from the edge of the dike, or actually seeing something. It's hard to say, but look at that. Now we're seeing something. We're probably just not far enough round from the point for us to appreciate the actual sunrise. However, I just want to show you this uh, beautiful red sky. And I've kept him on lead because those cliffs that I was walking below earlier are here. We're actually on the top of them now. Look at that. That's fabulous, isn't it? You know, that's it's something from a painting. But imagine catching a glimpse, catching the flavour of what has completely and utterly terrified people in this dike. So we've got Bridlington there in the distance and we're now on the edge of the golf course. And these totally unassuming places. So many secrets. And like I said before, if you've been playing golf here and seen or experienced anything, contact me. The website address is truthproof.uk. The email is, and it's all lowercase, Paul Sinclair, I L F, at gmail.com. And let's be hearing about it because we can't paint a picture of what's been seen and experienced around here without you guys. So we're just venturing in a little bit deeper and I've just found a tree structure. Make you laugh this. It's not what you're gonna think. And uh, someone's been busy. Let's have a look. Let's stay to that. What a mess. And uh, there's no finely interwoven branches there, is there? It's just a complete and utter mess. A lot of trees being cut. Some of them, I mean, they don't look that unhealthy or rotten, but I suppose thinning it out adds a little bit more light and allows a bit more growth to come from lower down. And uh, what a morning, absolutely fabulous. A little bit more of a tree structure going on here 
evidence of a fire. Come on, Bob. Or, come on, the start of a fire. This way. Look at this fool. What are you doing? Come, come on. Come on. Once again. You don't seem keen, but it's coming. Bit prickly on your feet, was it? Oh dear. So yeah, people been making something here. No great mystery. Didn't you used to love doing things like that when you were a teenager? I did. Just come into the woods and <coughs> come on, Bob, this way. Now he's the great explorer. A little bit of a pit there. And, uh, you smell where so much been. You better not find oh there's badgers been there, you can see where they've been scratching. And he can smell them. Come on, get moving. This way. Come on. Never mind smelling where the badgers have been. I think that's more interesting to him than flowers though, isn't it? It's another animal. We're in the zone. We're halfway around this walk now. There's a lot of uh, primroses growing on hill there. I can't, uh, I say I can't be bothered to walk up to them, but I'll probably come to some more as we carry on walking round. Show that there's, there's more, not sinister, this isn't sinister, oh, there's more primroses, how good is that? Right, he's, uh, he's, he's just feeling energised. He's like one of them Duracell bunnies. Here we go. Go on. I might have to throw him a stick just to occupy him. So I'll do that in a minute. And we can uh, calm him down. Come here. Here, look. What I've got you. Look at this. This will be fun, won't it? Here, this one. This one, here. Ready? Ready? Oh, hey, you've got to watch me. Down there. Go on, find it. See if we can find it. Okay, oh no. Pretty useless at finding that stick, aren't you, Bob? Come on. Don't think he's ever going to win any medals as a retriever, is he? When I've been walking around here on a morning, and apart from me talking now, I've been going around very quiet. Because I was hoping I might have stumbled across this cat or at least seen a glimpse of it but nothing nothing except me and the tyrant so I told you about my friend who used to live in the dark Peter well this is where he would have walked every night and every day back to his camp It'd have probably just gone along that way, but it's full of sludge, so I'm not going to uh, venture down there. But we're in the zone, and where's he gone? Come on, this way. Here he is, Speedy Gonzalez. And he'd have come up here. And as you can see, There's very little here, but well, that would have been his camp for 13 years, just over there. And we put him a tent up further up there until some heartless person decided it might be a good idea to burn the tent out. But it may have been for best, because I don't know how many winters you could actually survive up here as you're getting older. See how he stops to wait for me. Oh, see how he doesn't stop to wait for me. I might edit that bit out and see how he doesn't stop. Second thoughts, I won't. He's starting to cock his leg up on trees now. Come here. I don't know where we're going to go next, mate. What should we do next, eh? Should we go down here? Come on. That's it. Who we'll lead the way? You know, the Pathfinder. And uh, there he is. Where's he going? Can you go down there to explore? You know, he's gone. Off he goes. 
He's an aquatic animal, I did tell you that other day, didn't I? So he's got no problem now. So to challenging these four inch deep uh, pools of water. Come on, this way. That's it. Oh yeah, brilliant. Got some traction. He's leading the way. Just about on the last uh, section of this, call it a darkness and light walk because we started in the dark. We finished in early morning. Let's have a look what time it is. Come here, Bob. 6.03. He's, he's done it. And Paul's done it. Yeah. Brilliant. 61 year old. This is what I've got to put up with. Bobby, here, come on. What's he doing? Come on, this way. He's on a trail of something. He's absolutely a bloodhound. Come on. Look at him. Hey, you think he's gonna to listen to me? Bobby, here, come on. Come on, come on, here he is. This, this running across this sludgy field equates to going in sync when he gets back. I don't know what you're playing at. Look, I'll have a look at that lime, that looks interesting. Yeah, come on, stop being a fool. Okay, I, I weren't going to film again, but I've just seen some mallards on the imp field having a kind of scrat around looking for grubs and worms but they're gonna get up in a minute and fly but I just want to see how he reacts when he sees these mallards so obviously he's not gonna hurt them but I don't know if you can see them in distance but come on Bob there's two drakes and a female and they're just slowly walking along we're not really bothering them at the moment but obviously they're gonna fly in a moment and he's no idea they're there and in fairness they're not really bothered about us well let's just see what happens come Bob has he seen him has he seen him yet no let's just see come Bob. this way Way. Always seen them. Oh god. Look at that. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Just before we head back, we'll just have a little look out to see. That's where we were previously down along the shoreline and the tide looks like it's just on its way out as far as nature is concerned as far as wildlife is concerned this has got to be the best time of the year everything's starting to shoot and spring up Hence the word spring. Frozen earth is now freed up and allowing plants to grow and allowing animals to feed, birds to feed. Even neglected ponies that have uh, been bought and just left in the fields to chew the ice grass and find themselves jumping about and enjoying themselves at this time of year. Spring is in the air, it's fabulous. And I think that will be the last you'll hear from me today. So if you like what we're doing, if you're finding little bits of what I'm putting out interesting, please uh, press the like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.